Hi friends, it's Julie. Welcome to my story time. I'm so glad you're here. So for this week's story, I chose a book entitled Wimberly Worried by Kevin Hankies. It's one of my favorite books. He wrote this book about 20 years ago and it's still a favorite of mine that I love to read. Maybe you've read it before or some of his other books because he's written several books. But I want to share with you this one today called Wimberly Worried because I worry and I wonder if you ever worry too. But let's learn more about how maybe, just maybe, we can learn from Wimberly how we maybe worry about things that we really don't need to worry about. Let's read it together. Wimberly worried about everything. Big things. I wanted to make sure you were still here. And small things. And in between things. Mama, what if I shrink? Have you ever worried about shrinking in the bathtub? I've never worried about that before. Wimberly worried in the morning, Wimberly worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother too much worry. Her grandmother's shirt says, go with the flow. Have you heard that before? It's another expression for trying not to worry. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? and the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake inside? Have you ever seen a radiator before? We don't have those much in Houston, but they're in other parts of the country and other parts of the world. They're used to help heat people's homes. At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swing and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And always she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a seatbelt too? I'll wait for you, Petal, as she's getting a bath in the washing machine. Petal's lost forever. I found her, sweetie. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. And when Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. And then Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. That's a lot of worry. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. This is the best present ever. <gasps> I wish I had my birthday today. But when Wimberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. And Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. Okay. 
See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then, Wimberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry. School! <gasps> Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. Have you ever worried about school? Let's find out what happens. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father, but Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. And her grandmother said, have fun. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Miss Peachum said, Wimberly, there is someone I think you should meet. Her name is Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes and she was holding a doll. Can you find Jewel? The one standing by herself wearing stripes and holding a doll? Yep. She's right there. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual and sometimes even less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peachum as the students walked out the door. Wimberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said, don't worry. And look at them. The end. She was really worried about school, wasn't she? And it turned out really great. I know we worry about a lot of things, about people getting sick or a storm or many other things. But you know what? Jesus teaches us
to share our worry with him and he will take it from us. So when you feel worried, I want you to pray to Jesus and just ask him to take your worry and he will give you his peace. I'll see you next week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.